Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Tecla Structures. So friends, we'll show you how to insert rebars in footing in Tecla Structures using the option of rebar groups. So using the properties of rebar groups, if you insert the rebars, it is very useful as we had shown in the previous video how to insert the ties. We'll complete this and in today's video, we'll show you how to reinforce the footing in Tecla Structures using the rebar groups option. So now, first of all, we'll go to concrete and we'll select the option of uh, rebar and in the rebar, we'll select the option of bar group. So first of all, you have to make sure that you have the proper section to you know assign the rebars. So for getting the proper section, let's go to, let's say we'll open the particular uh, grid one first. We'll go to view list and let's uh, select this uh, grid one and we'll take this grid one along this and we want grid B as well. So we'll select this grid B as well. We'll open this as well. So we'll click on OK. So now let's uh, tile this windows vertically. So let's uh, reinforce this particular uh, footing. So we'll select this. As you can see, this is the particular footing. So we'll go uh, to select the rebar and then we'll just change the properties. If you want, let's take our particular 12 mm bars. So FE 512 we are taking and the cover make sure it's 75 mm we are taking 75 mm cover for our uh, footings and by spacing values we are giving an equal uh, distribution by a target spacing value we're giving a spacing for uh, 150 mm so we can do that so first of all it is asking for the part to reinforce so we'll select this particular footing and it's asking me to select the shape of the bar first click second click third click fourth click and middle click on the mouse middle button so after we have done that we can select the part to uh, reinforce that is asking pick two points to indicate the range to reinforce so this is my range starting point and ending point so after this has been done now we can use this particular view to assign our rebars so let's go to rebar and now we will select this part that is part to reinforce now we'll click the shape second third fourth middle click and then again we'll select the shape from here to here so as you can see the reinforcement we can just close this view to give the proper visibility maximize this escape twice so the reinforcement for our footings have been done as you can see here using the option of rebar groups so as you can see this is very easy process and in the upcoming videos we'll show you how to reinforce the remaining parts of the columns including starter bars using the option of rebar sets so stay tuned to our channel bye bye we have launched for you a complete recorded course on g plus 3 building design using tecla structural designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we'll also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you so what are you waiting for hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description